Hello my soccer universe. I know it's a little bit late because I was going back and forth. Should I wait for the last Champions League game to kind of finish and then I said nah. Let's record this video. The group stage is almost in the books. We have a pretty big game still coming today but I'll probably do this either uh, tonight or tomorrow early on to talk about that one and then maybe a little bit more about draw and whatever as well so maybe it's the best way to go about it now uh here are in kind of how i arrange it uh, the favorites for the champions league i asked the number eight but you know the big three i decided to take uh, the white liverpool to kind of balance it out because otherwise there would be this red blob there so yeah we have a we have a blue blob here <laughs> in any case but i actually wanna use this video to really uh, just hit the highlight games because there were a few meaningless games that we actually don't need to talk all that much about as for which team am i wearing well it is Austria Salzburg, uh, the predecessor of Red Bull Salzburg, and since they are now the second Austrian team to survive the Champions League group stage, there's a huge deal here in Austria. Ah, the first team to make it to the round of 16 of the Champions League. No, you idiots. Sturm Graz, yes, when they made it, I think it was in the 2020, uh, in 2021, <laughs> it was 21 years ago, in the 2000-2001 season, they won also, they won even their group and they made it to the second group stage, which was the same thing as the round of 16, but we didn't have it, we had a lot more games back then, so uh, Salzburg is the second team to qualify for the best 16, uh, best 16 for the 16 remaining teams in the Champions League. And that for Austria is a pretty big deal. I actually didn't realize uh, how uh, actually not so bad their chances were of advancing because I thought they might. Be, I was thought that if they have a draw against Sevilla, they make it to the Europa League, which probably would not have been a bad thing either. But it's now for the third time in a row that third or fourth time I want to say third time in in a row that two Austrian teams uh, make it to. The next um make it through the winter in europe so lask already did and now salzburg is qualified as well the other two uh have not done as much yet so yeah uh congratulations to salzburg and i'm wearing austria salzburg kind of you know i don't recognize red bull it's still the purple team and yeah i'm wearing a different austrian team but i gotta say and now before we go into it at the time i actually did like austria salzburg they were kind of everybody's darling team here and it was young and impressionable uh but yeah they were a very like li likable team which is you know um gets a little bit harder these days champions league group stage uh let's switch uh, let's go through group a psg 4-1 leipzig beating manchester city 2-1 which would be both remarkable results Mbappé scoring a double messi scoring a double uh and leipzig actually getting past man city is also who played a decent squad was also a bit so so so, so, so surprising uh, i think for me the highlight was Kyle walker making uh, one of the most unnecessary red card fouls and saying yeah i don't want to take part in that game anymore I think we gotta talk first about Group B and yeah, uh, despite Milan, Liverpool here on the bottom, um, with the second one, I want to talk about that one first. Uh, Milan needed a win to give themselves a chance. Now, uh, as it turns out, if they would have even won that one, I'm not even sure that they may or may not have uh, made it or whatever, um, given the size of win for Atletico Madrid, but they needed a win. Uh, it was kind of favorable that Liverpool played a uh, yeah one B. I don't want to say a B squad, but one B squad because you know they're still Sané and uh, Salah were playing up front, so uh, that still happened. Uh, however, I think Milan got the, t the lineup wrong. I would not have played Ibrahimovic. I know he's the big star, but against a high pressing Liverpool team, and you can actually see that even with their B squad. Uh, the philosophy of Klopp is so well ingrained in that team that they were always giving Milan a hard time and Milan uh, does not like to be pressed high. We know that from Serie A and this is something that they have to work on. Uh, it was disappointing. They took the lead through Tomori. However, then uh, rather quickly uh, uh, Salah gets an equalizer when Liverpool was already the better team. And then Tomori makes an error that kind of allows Origi to score the 2-1. Um, I am, you know, I'm of two minds. Yes, it would have been nice to advance in the Champions League, but, we, uh, but Milan elegantly avoided with that one 
to make it into the Europa League. And I think that's maybe better that way. I, I like them. I said, continuing a Champions League, yes, in the Europa League, maybe better not. Because now, full focus on Serie A, maybe a Coppa Italia, but full focus is definitely on Serie A, and I think that's not a bad thing for a young squad. And I don't want to excuse them. I think I would have expected a little bit more, but matchup-wise, it was not all that well. I also think you got to see that there's still quite some key players missing for Milan. So yeah, it was what it was. However, that made that result, and it was pretty clear then early, or early on in the second half already that uh, Milan will not do any, any any anything as disappointing as as, as it is. So Porto against Atletico Madrid was a straight shootout. And to be honest, for most of the time, Porto outplayed Atletico Madrid. And I always said, of all the teams in this group, Porto um, of the remaining three, Porto is the one that would deserve it most. But Atletico just got the win somehow uh, a fluke goal through Griezmann gave them the lead and then they did everything to keep the game slow waste time feign in injuries they got a pretty rough red card through uh, Carrasco and then they absolutely tried everything to get within a few few, few minutes another athlete a, a Porto player sent off and they succeeded uh, for Wendell being a little bit he did not do much it was not a really that much of a red card, but you know, I can see how, how, how the ref can interpret it that way. And yeah, the game descended into utter chaos. They completely knocked Porto off their game. And then uh, Angel Correa and Rodrigo de Paul in uh, 9th and 92nd make, uh, make two, two, two more goals and very late on penalty for Sergio Oliveira makes the score a little bit more palatable. Um, you know, I understand whatever they're doing. It's not pretty. pretty it's not pretty to watch. I I never minded Atletico Madrid playing this way. However, this was a little bit ugly, and I actually felt that it should be Porto that goes through this group because Atletico was actually overall pretty pretty embarrassing, and that display here was embarrassing as well. Going through Group C, uh, Ajax again for two. Alea becoming the first player, I think, to score not only in all six group games with Cristiano uh, Ronaldo or, or, or Reddit, but he's the in his first six Champions League games, he scores in every single one of, of, of them. It was an entertaining game, but there was not much to play for. Uh, Dortmund completely destroyed Bajik, just 5-0. Real Madrid against Inter. Inter for most of the time the better team. However, they took the lead through Toni Kroos. Wonderful shot. Uh, and Inter just cannot find the net in many ways. And then Barella kind of um, decides, yeah, I'm not in that. I don't have had enough. Gets an absolutely stupid, absolutely stupid red card. You don't punch the play. Keep your act together. And then Real Madrid, I mean, in the second half, they already got the better of, started to get the better of Inter, and then they completely played it home. Uh, it could have been a higher score line, but I made it 2-0 uh, two through Asensio, which was a nice uh, uh, goal. Kind of settled it. And it was a pretty bad uh, day for the Milan teams. A pretty awesome day for the Madrid teams. Both of them advancing. Um, and yeah, I, it was not a good day for Serie A over, overall. Uh, who, yeah, it has to ha it has to be said. I They are definitely... I mean, it is Premier League. And as a gap, then I think it may be La Liga. But we'll see about that. And then Serie A, Bundesliga and so on. It's kind of always a giving... Uh, go a little bit so we guys see but the Bundesliga also didn't have a good round um, Schachter against Sheriff 1-1 one, one, win the very good news for Serie A was what Juventus did against Malmö Moise Kent scored one goal he should have scored many many more I think he could have gotten a hat trick in that one and that put actually Juventus in a gave them a shot to maybe win even that group if Chelsea does the also win against Zenit and that's exactly what they did and uh, probably the most entertaining game that I haven't seen in a scene unfortunately Werner gave them an early, early lead, but then before half, uh, Claudinho and Asmund turned the game actually around uh, for uh, Zenit, who really played well. And Chelsea, yeah, playing a bit, uh, also not maybe the super strongest squad and so on. But you know, they wanted to, I'm sure they wanted to get the group group in. I mean, Tuchel kind of said beforehand, yeah, it doesn't actually really matter, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, if you look where, where they are, yes, you can play the, Eng the English teams, but. Not sure if you want to play some of the group winners that are out there like Bayern Munich. That, yeah, maybe. 
maybe you know but on the other side yeah real madrid i think you've made your will there ajax is a team yeah we have to see in any case uh so two 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 one down however lukaku pulls from back and nicely assisted by timo werner and timo werner with a greatly played team goal pulisic werner 85th minute three to chelsea group win to chelsea however then ozdoyev with a absolute great volley gets a deserved equalizer for zenit and sending chelsea that uh the defending champions into extra uh, into the second place and they will be now the silver bullet as I said they cannot play against the English teams which which I actually find now a little bit of a stupid rule already but yeah silver bullet for some of those teams that don't want to want to play them and you know now that and it's always, always like a situation right now for the draw is usually a completely different one than when uh, the games happen in February so We'll see about that. Um, another way I will switch the order now. Benfica needed a win against Dinamo Kiev. They got the two goals, although uh, Kiev missed already a pretty huge chance early, early on to make it 1-0. It was the 2-0 through Jaremcho and Gilberto. And then nervousness around Kiev having the chances to maybe get this game a little bit more in interesting and taking points from Benfica. But Benfica needed desperately that win because a point would will be sent by Barcelona through Barcelona, who maybe started with high pressing, but after 25 minutes, Bayern had figured that one out, and Barcelona could, could keep it up and completely rolled over Barcelona. Um, Thomas Müller with a typical, I don't want to say to you know, uh, uh, an ungainly goal in many ways, uh, gives Bayern the lead, and Sané with a shot that I. I think Testing needs to save, and then they missed him a few chances. Barcelona at that point was completely out of the game, and Musiala uh, makes it 3 0. And this was every bit of 3 0 as it was. Barcelona, not even the same league as Bayern at the moment, which definitely begs the question where is Barcelona going? They're not going to Europa League. And as much as uh, people say it's the first time since 21 years they didn't make it out of the Champions League group stage, it was also 2000 2001. Like Salsa, Salsa, but I'm actually, actually thinking, yeah, Barcelona has been a really, really great team for almost two decades. But I think they have played in the Europa League in between once. So it's not the worst. Uh, it's not they have been continuously in the Champions League. I think they have once played in the Europa League in between. Um, but, you know, it's normal. You cannot be always top regen generator. I don't want to sound doom and gloom and get very angry, blah, blah, blah. I mean, yes, I have slight Barcelona lean links, but by, by no way I'm a big fan. But uh, you got to appreciate what all you had, and now it's a rebuilding job, and I think there is something there. But it will take a while, and you, know, you got to give Barcelona and Xavi now the time to rebuild. So, yeah, uh, big story, but to me it was not all the big of a story because it was expected. Um, as I said, Atalanta via Real because of snow has been postponed. Uh, originally it was three o'clock today, now it's seven o'clock. So um, that's why I did the, do the video now. Manchester United one one against the young boys. There were a lot of young boys playing there uh, for United as well, and in in the end, the young boys get a probably they could have even snatched another win there. But you know, one one. This means Atalanta and Villarreal. Atalanta for sure has now third place secured. Via, and with a win over uh, via Villarreal, they can move on to the next round which leaves us now with group g where salzburg surprisingly get a win over sevilla in a game that was very very timid you knew that there was a lot of stuff happening salzburg's position was that if they get a draw they are through which i actually didn't realize but it made total sense because uh whatever then wolfsburg it works out for them so a draw would have been enough to see salzburg through uh which was pretty comfortable in and when although salzburg is not great defending sevilla also um the doesn't match up well against salzburg and yes sevilla had maybe a little bit more of the game definitely more possession uh they had a pretty big chance in the second half where from point blank range a header where it would have been it looks so offside but there was another defender uh far outside of the corner cor 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 like they put um it was not rough for me uh it was uh muni al al adadi uh on site if that goes in i think sevilla has has a chance but just a few minutes later Karim Adeyemi played a pass to uh, Okafor, who came on a little bit, in, you know, come coming back for injury, makes it 1 0, and that swung the game big time to Salzburg, who then could play at home, even missed a few counter attacks, and in, 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 in the end, they get a 
deserved overall win. Uh, yes, and it was also helped that uh, Khadam was sent off with a yellow red for also stupid tackling. And so we, of course, tried to get uh, Salzburg player sent off, blah, blah, blah. So Salzburg through. The question then was, will they be first or second? Well, little very early on answered that. That, that one with Burakir was already in the 11th scoring. Wolfsburg then had some chance to maybe get an equal, especially right after um, the... Lee leading goal. There were one or two two chances with a little bit of like a could have got, got, got the equalist, but as soon as uh, Jonathan David in the 70 seconds sets the game all, all, all the way, I actually was resting a little bit easy because I thought, yeah, Lille is through, and that also also means Salzburg will definitely go in the Europa League, whatever happens. Uh, which at least for Austria, I wanted to have. I, as I said. Does Salzburg really need more money to dominate the Austrian league? More probably not, but you know, having being a good league now, which still sounds weird, but you know, Austrian teams have been performing relatively well in Europe. Actually, means that Salzburg going through in the knock no knocker phase was should have bound or should have happened sooner or later anyway. But so yeah. I'm so and so about it, but I think then for the Austrian league, it's pretty good that Salzburg goals go through, and for that reason, uh, I was not celebrating, but I was happy for the result. Now, um, you also need uh, should, should note that two Spanish teams were yesterday eliminated via Real, maybe, maybe, maybe. So it's basically we have two Italian teams, uh, you went into through, but maybe a third one we have two Spanish teams that are two Madrid teams. So it's either two or three, it's at Atalanta via Real basically says the fate who has more in there. We have all English teams through, we have two French teams, so we have only one German team through. The Bundesliga not having a great time. Yes, Leipzig got a tough draw. Dortmund, you would have expected to go through. Wolfsburg, maybe, maybe, maybe not. This was also a little bit. But yeah, we have an Austrian team in there, which is um, pretty remarkable itself. As I said, I will do probably do a little bit more on a review of the Atalanta Villarreal game, which should be a really interesting game uh, overall, because that's a straight shoot that Atalanta need to win. So I'm very much looking forward to that one in many ways, probably more than uh, some of the Europa League matchups. So uh, have your eyes on that. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with another video on the Champions League, maybe a little bit on the draw as well. And then also we'll talk a little bit in a later video on the Europa League and so on. In any case, let me know what you thought about the games uh, this week. Uh, where were you? Uh, did the this, this disappointed? Where were you happy that someone moved on? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!